Well, here we have the bridge made of recycled plastic. This is a vehicle bridge. And it was built by Professor Tom Noska and um, some volunteers in about a week, I think. So not uh, not a long drawn out process. Well, let's have a look. And it's made entirely of recycled plastic. Obviously apart from the, the bolts that hold it all together. See the river's very high at the moment. So we can't really get underneath it, which is a bit of a shame. But uh, see those are the I-beams underneath there that are supporting the weight and they are 100% recycled plastic. And this of course will take the weight of a vehicle. I'm not quite sure what the maximum load is but it's quite a bit the rangers come up here with their with their trucks let's have a look around the other side and see if we can get any further underneath but I don't think so somehow and of course the main thing about this is it, it shouldn't really ever need much in the way of repairs because it won't rot and it won't get eaten by bugs and doesn't put any harmful chemicals into what is actually a very delicate ecosystem around here. See, it's just been fixed, fixed down using ordinary screws. And it's as solid as you like. So there you go ladies and gentlemen, that is a bridge made entirely of recycled plastic, no steel, no concrete, just plastic that would have been thrown away and put into landfill. Well this is where the whole bridge building program from recycled plastic really started. This was uh, built in 2003. by, not by engineers, but by a professor and some volunteers. Okay, we're just driving over a recycled plastic bridge. No steel, no concrete, just plastic.